Microsoft Excel just got a brand new agent mode and I'll be reacting to Nicolas Boucher's video about it and let's get going. There's now an AI that can build your financial models in just a few minutes. This is called agent mode and I'm going to show you how to use it. Here I've built a fun. I'm eating pineapple here. Oh. I feel like it was about time that Copilot in Excel actually got useful. Yes, up until now, you could pay for a Copilot in Excel license, but it could not do much. It could do conditional formatting, it could help you a little bit with Python and Excel. I really see where this agent mode is going is the way to go. So let's see what it can do. Let's make an example much more complex with a 13 week cash flow forecast. So for this, I will go and click on Excel Labs. I have the agent mode. We are going to describe what we want. Imagine you have this model of cash flow that you want to build with two products and each product is different. All right, so the cash flow model that we have here is pretty thorough. Uh, you know, it's not the first time that I witnessed the Excel agent mode, but these use cases I do. I've seen a lot of conversation online that says, oh, this is not thorough enough. There might be a lot of errors, a lot of mistakes in these cash flows. Like, truth is, guys, I'm an accountant with more than 10 years experience in the corporate world, and I never seen an Excel model that didn't have a single mistake into it because, you know, human makes mistake. So I'm not sure if that argument is actually valuable, but for sure, it's a great V1. Let's see if these formulas actually stand out, stand up. Not sure I would say that. Look, like we have all of the 13 weeks with the different units. Everything is linked by formulas. So here, if I change the units, it will change the revenue for this week. We can see here as well, both products. Look, we have here the two. I mean, look at these formulas and I have pineapple everywhere in my teeth. Um, Let's, you know, take it down with a, a sip of coffee. Not sure about this mix, by the way. You see, look, look at this formula right here. This seems pretty thorough. We have, we have, you know, dollar signs to log the formulas and we have the index function. And we also have like all the reference to the input tabs. Like for me, this seems a pretty good V1. Let's keep going and see what this cash flow can do weeks time and here we have the three weeks exactly like what we said and so we can see also that the other product is three weeks after the revenue date and here same we have also cash out for these products we also have the leasing which is allocated by product like we asked and we have our machine down payments now that is crazy let me look here like Look at this formula once again, uh, if into a, or like, it's crazy that just a model, a, 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 an agent could do that. You can see to the right here, it did like all of those tasks right here. And it built that in roughly like a few minutes. Term to 1.5 weeks. Now we will make the agent works for us instead of us having to change the formulas. Here, the work was more simple. So it only took one minute. And we can see that now we have here the all right, I'm not sure if this will work every time. So here in this example, Nicholas, the cash flow was, I think, every week or every two weeks. And now it changed it to the terms to 1.5 weeks. It seems to have done a great work at first, a great job of ch at changing these formulas, but I'm not too sure it will work. And of course, if you're very close on the cash flow, I will maybe even do a daily cash flow, you know, but that's pretty cool. I think this is a little bit dangerous to do it like that, especially if you're close on the cash flow, like you're really close to going bankrupt because of course now at this point, the model can do a mistake and you won't know that if it really did 1.5 weeks. So please double check your results here. Is where it can help you clean data. So imagine here, you have this file of credit card statements for each of your employees. You have Bruce Brown, you have Cassidy Robbins, and you have Luis, April, all of your employees. Also tell me for each line from which company and card holder it corresponds to. It's happening in front of our eyes. Yes, we have the company, the card holder, and we have all of... All right, this is absolutely Wow, if the results are accurate, I didn't double check that from, you know, a quick eye. It seems to be absolutely accurate. Like these kind of tasks, like in this case, we have like 15 uh, sheets, 15 tabs. It will take probably, I don't know, three hours for someone to do that. Maybe even more. It depends of your Excel skill level. If you, you know, you really know how to use the XLOOKUP. Even that, like you can maybe copy and paste or run a VBA macro, but like this got so accessible. There's always 
a way to double check like you just sum up your amount column and then you make sure it ties the total to like all of the other tabs like you will make sure that it works right there, there's like a super great way of quickly validating that and i think this is amazing that we can now in natural language do like complex operations like that on excel like i think this is really crazy so now i'm asking can you analyze this consolidated data nicholas asked a consolidated data set from the credit cards right that we just built together or he just built and look at the results right here uh, my only flaw here i think like it's really great for an excel beginner in this case uh, and again, the prompt might need some revision, like saying, hey, I want this, this and that. But in this case, like pretty generic prompt, it took more than like 12 minutes. So that's kind of long for me. Uh, I think someone that is, you know, really agile in Excel could probably build that in five seconds. But you know what? Maybe like 60 seconds. Like if you grab a coffee, shouts to my friends at Zebra BI. If you grab a coffee, and you just run that while you're gone like this is pretty amazing and imagine you will have multiple agents on different excel sheets building stuff for you like i think this is pretty interesting and the quality you know a v1 is pretty cool and this agent just released so i'm assuming it will become better with time customize now let's see again another use case so here for our last use case i want to show you that you can also do something fun for your private purposes and here i just asked for an holiday budget for my trip in europe for two weeks for two adults and two kids and we also love food here is our budget i also change here all right i think this is pretty cool i think this is pretty cool i think the example here is not really what we're gonna see because as of today as recording this video you need a microsoft copilot 365 license to do that like a business account right to get the excel agent mode so i'm assuming that personal microsoft copilot license won't have access to the agent mode and this is not a kind of topic that you will do in a business but if you are in hr and you are organizing the christmas party and you know the finance people like me they will always annoy you like hey we have ten thousand dollars for the christmas party like this person in hr can go into the excel agent mode create a very quick christmas party for the business uh, budget and then it's going to be created in just a few seconds so i think this is pretty cool for personal use i don't see people having this license maybe eventually Microsoft will roll out the Excel agent to even Copilot Pro, you know, the individual version of Copilot. But right now I don't see this specific use case use, usable, <laughs> useful in the business context. But I understand what Nicholas did there, like showing multiple corporate examples and then a personal example. Super, super cool what you can do with this agent. So I think this is really great. It's going to generate a lot of discussion, this agent. I already had some discussions a lot and tell me what you think about this Excel agent. Very different video format. Tell me what you think. If you want some more React video, it's my first ever, and I'm not sure where this is going. Subscribe to Nicholas. I've put him as a collaborator if he green lights this video, and you can, uh, you can also go see his content. He's number one AI in finance in the world, and I will catch you in the next video.